Well, students are getting back to class at ASU tomorrow. And for many parents, it may be your first time sending one of your kids off to college. Don't even get me started. Yeah, that's a tough day. I mean, moving stuff into the dorm and yeah. everything is because you're busy. Oh, and then all of a sudden, it hits it's you. like, uh, okay, we're going I now. can't even drop my kids off at camp. Uh, let's get to Melissa Estavillo, licensed psychologist this morning. Melissa, good morning to you. I think a lot of people out mm -hmm. there, and Troy's been through it. Yeah, can, it's um, tough. Yeah, it's hard. It is super hard. I think a lot of times we anticipate that positive transitions are just going to be easy and great, and they are, but they're also really difficult. All transition and change is really hard for families. So I, I got we got a little bit of a preview of some of your thoughts on this, and I have to say I really like them yeah. it, because it seems like what you're saying to parents is uh, you got to let your kids live their lives a little bit. You, 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 you can't hover. You can't keep them from falling out of a tree. Take us through it. Yeah, so I think it's super important for parents to be able to say this is a time where we really need to be able to embrace some of the struggles and launching our kids. You know, so often we've been in this role where we've been protector and supervisor and seeing ahead. And it's important to be able to let our kids have a little bit more of that independence. So having a plan for when struggles come up can be so important. Know where there's counseling consultation like at ASU. Know about some outside breeze resources, tutoring services, that can really help your kid be able to launch in a way where we're not hovering and there for every single step. Can we talk about independence a little bit? Let's say your teenager right through high school had an issue with being independent and being a self-starter. Um, you drop them off and um, how do you help them through that process? Do you just drop them off and say, I'm out of here. Peace. See you later. Good luck. <laughs> oh, it's so hard. And I think many parents actually err on the side of being overly involved. And it accidentally sends the message to their kids that they're not capable. So if they're coming in and Good saying, point. oh, Mom, I'm kind of struggling with my test. And then you come in and help. You're telling them that, yeah, I don't know if you can handle failing and I don't know if you can handle overcoming this. You really have to let them try and stumble. We're not talking about life or death things, but it's okay for them to get an F on a test. It's okay for them to have to go to their teacher and say, I don't know what the heck is going on here. That is so important for them to be able to develop that independence. I, I'll never forget my first parents weekend down at U of A. And I'd never, I wasn't a fraternity guy, so I'd never been to a frat party. I went right. to my very first ever frat party. I've the seen the pictures on the web, yes. Yeah, and you know, they went through a thousand <laughs> cans of beer before 10 a.m. That's a real story. And I'm walking in with my daughter and I'm like, this is what, and she's like, oh, hey, Ted, hey, Freddie, hey, she knows the whole thing. I'm like, this is what you're doing. At, is there, is there, what are you laughing at? Is there, there was a some juice flag? involved too. <laughs> right. yeah, there, there was jungle juice or something else. But are, are there some behaviors though, if you get a whiff of them, you should step in. I know we've been talking about being yeah. hands off. Yes, absolutely. So I think it's important to be able to know when you shouldn't step in and when you should step in. So absolutely, when it comes to your child potentially making a decision that could substantially impact their life, drinking heavily, using substances, failing out for three semesters, um, getting into a direction in their life that really could harm them. Absolutely not. This is a place where we should not take a step back and just let them stumble and crash and burn. Let them stumble, but not let them crash and burn. So that is a super important place to step in and say, I just can't let you do this. I can't let you hurt yourself in this way. This is too far. So it's not totally hands off, but it's not totally hands on the rain. It's that little bit of careful balance in between. And maybe letting them know that you're there if they need you, right? Yes. Yes. So don't go to the extreme where you're like, all right, I'm never going to call you like kids want to know you're still thinking about me. I'm still in your life. You haven't just had this big party that now I'm out of the house and totally forgotten about me. But don't call them three times a day. That's excessive. It's too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does Celeste have your number? Because she's like three <laughs> years away. I think it's gonna, that's going to be a tough uh, one. It is tough. I mean, I a lot of this is great in theory, but a lot of us as parents know, like this is yeah. going to be hard to practice yeah. to actually do that and believe that your kid's going to be fine and the struggles are going to be things that they can overcome. Ugh, it's so difficult to actually do. So I empathize with so many parents going through this right now. Yeah, it not is. easy. I can't, I'm not ready for that moment already. Yeah. Melissa yeah. Estevio with Biltmore Counseling. Uh, psychologist speaking with us this morning. Melissa, good to see you. Thank you so much. Good to see you too. Have yeah, a great good. day. Good stuff. Uh, there was, uh, we took Kiana to like a sleepaway soccer camp and yeah. it was at NAU and I cried like for an hour after. Gary's like, what is the matter with you? Gone? A week.
That's a long time. It is, right? For, for yeah. For, she, was, she was like 11. The first board's the toughest. When, when it's Ashley, I'm like, okay, you good? All right, guys. See you. Hi. High Hi. five. Have a good I'm time. I'm selling everything in your bedroom. <laughs> Today is the anniversary. <laughs>